This video is brought to you by SailRight. Visit SailRight.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we're going to quickly show how to replace a cap spring on the UltraFeed sewing machine. A needle strike to the gib hook, or edge of the retaining ring cap spring's triangular opening, may result in a burr, which can cause the thread to shred above the needle, or skip stitches, as it is here. In this case, our cap spring is badly damaged, so we will replace it with a new cap spring. Once the machine is tilted back, you will want to remove the bobbin case, then turn each lever one half turn away from the retaining ring, and pull the axle of the hook to remove the retaining ring and hook. Here you can see that our cap spring has been severely damaged, so we will replace it with a new one. Simply remove both screws on the outside of the cap spring, as shown here. Once removed, we will replace the old with the new. We are showing this on the UltraFeed LSZ1 sewing machine. The process is exactly the same on the LS1. Once both screws are threaded onto the retaining ring, tighten one down completely. Notice here how Matt is pressing down on the center of the cap spring with his thumb to ensure there aren't any humps in the cap spring before tightening down the second screw. This also ensures the cap spring is flush with the retaining ring. Now place the retaining ring back into the machine. You can see the pip on the bottom of the retaining ring should line up with the slot of the shuttle race guide shaft. Slide it in and turn the levers back over the retaining ring to keep it in place. Here we will check for proper movement of the needle. If the needle slides through without touching the cap spring, like it does here, you have done it correctly. After confirming the needle slides through correctly, you will want to take the retaining ring back out in order to install the hook. You have to carefully fit the hook in place to fill the other side of the driver, making a full moon shape. Place the retaining ring back on, then install the bobbin case. And that's how you replace a cap spring. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to contact Sailrite. Thanks for watching.